welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are adding to our Hot Dogs of Summer playlist just in time for the 4th of July. These are famous from Clifton, New Jersey, Ripper Dogs from Rutt's Hut. I'm gonna give you a little background information on what these are all about and we're gonna make them and they're gonna be delicious and I can't wait to show you how these all come together. Today we're gonna add to our Hot Dogs of Summer playlist with the New Jersey Ripper Dog. This is a really important and popular hot dog in New Jersey. It originated in Clifton, New Jersey, and if you're from there, represent in the comments. Have you ever had a Ripper Dog? I have never personally had a Ripper Dog. I have never visited Clifton, New Jersey, although I was born in New Jersey and lived there until I was 11 years old when we moved to Arizona. Um, so I am originally a Jersey girl and a little piece of my heart is still there. Got relatives there and all of that. The next time we go back, I might have to seek out Rutt's Hut in Clifton, New Jersey, which is one of the places where they say this hot dog originated. The reason it's called a ripper is because we're not going to pan fry it, we're not gonna boil it, we're not gonna steam it, we're not gonna grill it, we're gonna deep fry this puppy. And when you deep fry an all natural casing hot dog, it rips open and that's why it's called the ripper. So I have my fryer all heated up outside. We're gonna go and we're going to pop these in the oil for a few minutes until they are cooked, until the casing rips open and then we're gonna put them in a bun with some of the German cabbage relish that we made the other day. This is also a part of the Rutz Hut tradition and they've been making these these hot dogs since 1928. The recipe for this relish that they use is kept highly secret, but the one that I found on the internet actually was from a newspaper clipping from Clifton, New Jersey, and it said that the recipe was from Mrs. Rutt. So one can only presume that this is a very close facsimile to what the restaurant is currently serving as their top secret recipe relish on top of their Ripper Dog. So we're gonna head out to the fryer and we'll drop these in and we'll, be, we'll meet you out there. The most important number one rule is you must have hot dogs that are in their natural casing. These would be the kind of hot dogs that snap when you bite into them. I have two different brands here. I'll go over the type that I'm using. These are Boar's Head brand, uncured, all natural casing Frankfurters. These are Hoffman's brand uh, hot dogs and they are both, uh, this is an all beef hot dog, this is a beef and pork mix. So that's the, one of the things you wanna make sure that you're super um, aware of. This is not going to work with a skinless hot dog. So we're just gonna lower these into the hot oil. Oops. And we'll go from there. All right, our ripper dogs are ready to pull out of the fryer. Now these were in there for about three or four minutes, really not that long. Um, when they start to float, then you'll know that they're ready. Now I will show you, these are the hot dogs from okay. Boar's Head. They did not rip, but I'm not upset about that because they're still gonna taste delicious. These were the Hoffman's ones. You can clearly see those ripped really beautifully. And that's what you want. So we're gonna go ahead and take these inside and build our ripper dogs and we'll be right back. We got our rippers all ready. We put them, we tucked them nicely into a sausage bun, and now we're going to fix a Rutz Hut ripper. So that really only entails the hot dog, and then you can make your hot dog any way you like. But when you go to Rutz Hut, you gotta have at least one that's traditional, right? So you're gonna load up on this German cabbage relish, which is what, you know, they, is proprietary in their world and they don't share the recipe, but I think if I went there and tasted it, I would find out that I probably did a pretty good job. So there's a plain one. I'm gonna go ahead and add some spicy brown mustard to these two down here, as well as some of this relish. 
and then you know the rest is up to you how do you like your hot dog you like your hot dog with ketchup mustard relish do you like your hot dog with mayonnaise some people do don't wrinkle your nose okay so do you want to give one a taste I have to you have to so here's the one that's just like the traditional ripper dog just the, the dog and the relish what do you think mm. oh baby mm -hmm. that's good oh man with the skin crispy like that it, it's not hard to get it through it mm -hmm. it snaps but it's it's mm -hmm. it's easy to bite through it skin on hot dogs are not my personal favorite but you know what when you cook them like this it all but disintegrates uh -huh. into the hot dog it makes it very easy to eat and it's so tasty. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm. You guys, if you didn't see me make this German cabbage relish in um, a previous video, I'm going to leave a link on the screen in my card as well as down below in the information box. And you'll be able to have a look at how I made this. This is delicious. And I want it in my refrigerator all summer. It's so good and so easy. And I know you're going to love it. So that's it. Ripper Dogs from Rutt's Hut in Clifton, New Jersey. Obviously, these are not an official Rutt's Hut hot dog, but this is what you can get at home if you are homesick and you can't get there. Or if you've never been there, but you've heard about it and you want to try it, this is a way you can do it. Pop them in your fryer. Make sure they're um, natural casing hot dogs. Make yourself some of this sweet and sour cabbage relish, and you are good to go. So that's it. I hope you liked today's video, and if you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you're new to my kitchen, you wandered on over to see what was what. Welcome. Always a pleasure to have new friends join me. I hope that you stick around. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you're a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, be sure and hit the bell notification button because we don't want you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give these Rutt's Hut Ripper dogs a try sometime soon and I hope you love them and until next time I'll see ya!